Uh, the problem is, you know, the energy transition and its impact on the uh, power uh, sector. And, uh, you know, we are exchanging ideas, we are defining problems, what are the main challenges, how to solve them, what are open challenges that we do not know yet how to solve. This event has um, two purposes. One is um, scientific exchange, the other one is building a community getting to get people from the theory end of power systems, to get people from optimization and control, to think about how to address the challenges of tomorrow's power system. Well, this is one of the top conferences, I think, in the area of power system and combines people with the background in power electronics, power system like myself, <coughs> and control systems. Uh, it's very useful because it's <coughs> traditional conferences are big, there are many power tracks, it's difficult to follow all the talks. Here is a single track conference, which means that all people are together, there's intimate contact, a lot of time for, for discussions. And also we have a lot of people from actual industry, which helps to kind of put uh, researchers in, on the right path or, or put things into perspective for us as well. At the big conferences around the world, you don't have time to talk with another, right? So these are the few events we can actually get into a detailed discussion with the world experts. It's a very unique event in a sense that it gathers a lot of very good people, but it's a small conference in a sense that you actually get to interact uh, with all of those people. So sharing ideas and uh, fundamental knowledge is something that uh, I value very much from this particular conference that I'm very the expectations are um, yeah, several fold, I would say. So on the one hand, I'm looking forward to do some networking, to get to know many people, and also to learn about their research backgrounds, their expertise, and then to see how I can connect their backgrounds and their fields with my own research, and yeah, maybe reach out or create some new collaborations. I think that I uh, identify new, <laughs> new teams, perhaps some new, 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 chair, new researchers that I, I want to interact with more. But my main thing is to identify new, new people to connect them to, to my team or to other teams that are working on similar topics and to have this kind of uh, collective <laughs> intelligence and to, to solve huge problems. So. There are more and more power electronics components that come into the game that are controlled in various ways. Uh, and the goal is actually to guarantee the stability of the power grids with you know, new components. It's definitely um, renewables interface with power electronics that are running the grid. And thus we need to essentially rethink all of power system operation, but also much of the technology has to be changed. And it is a big challenge which all the, the system operators around the world face at the moment, how to change the behavior and the control of the power system from traditional synchronous machine based to the inverted based uh, control. This is a complete change of paradigm of power system operational control, big challenge for, for, for system operators. So it's not to find optimal solution, but some solution that scale very fast and very well.